Hello, and welcome to the Connect Us sponsored unboxing video for the Insego FW2010E from the Insego WaveMaker series of devices. In our last two unboxing videos, we looked at the indoor routers in the WaveMaker series, the FG2000E and the FX2000E. So now we'll be looking at the WaveMaker 5G Outdoor CPE, the FW2010 series. The FW2010 and the FW2000 are both classified as CPEs, which stands for Customer Premises Equipment. This means that these devices use a cellular modem and SIM card to achieve 5G speeds, and can also connect to the internet through Wi-Fi. These outdoor CPEs are designed to stand up to harsh weather conditions and temperature extremes while protecting your network and offering high-speed 5G internet connectivity. The FW2010 has ultra-fast 5G millimeter wave, extended network coverage, advanced networking, and security, which makes these devices great for residences, commercial businesses, or large business offices. Now that you have some background information about the device, let's jump into the features and speeds this device has to offer. The FW2010E uses high power millimeter wave antennas to extend the reach of 5G coverage over 4.35 miles or 7 kilometers while still supplying high bandwidth and low latency connectivity. This device also has 5G sub 6 gigahertz and 4G LTE category 22 like the rest of the WaveMaker series. These key features allow this device to have incredibly fast speeds with 5 gigabits per second download and 1.8 gigabit per second upload speeds. You may still be a little worried about the device getting wet or dirty since it is an outdoor device, but let me put your mind at ease. This device is designed to withstand extreme temperatures anywhere from negative 4 degrees Fahrenheit to 140 degrees Fahrenheit, and it is IP67 rated for water and dust protection, so your device will always be safe and protected. Now that we have talked about the speeds and features this device has to offer, let's open the box and jump into the specifications and hardware that help this device reach its crazy fast speeds. So for some more background information, this device supports Windows 10 and later, um, and it also supports Mac OS uh, 10.14 and later. And it also has a cellular modem chipset um, internally that helps it achieve its fast 5G speeds. Um, and just like the FG2000E from our last video, uh, this device uses the Qualcomm SDX55 for its uh, cellular modem, which is a really fast and really powerful modem. Um, now let's talk about what additional features and hardware this device has. So unlike our previous for our last two unboxings, this device does not really have many external ports or external um, external hardware just because it's built for outdoor use. So it's really supposed to have very little water, dust, or any type of element that can get into it. Um, yeah, so there's not really many external ports and you can't really even see it right now, but this is where the SIM slots are located. So um, this device has uh, two SIM slots underneath this plastic cover right here, which you unscrew and put in. Um, and that's because this is the FW2010E. Since it has the E at the end of it, that means it has two SIM slots instead of one, which is the same with our last two devices, the FG2000E and the FX2000E. They both had dual SIM slots, but the regular FG2000 and FX2000 and FW2010 only have one. Um, the dual SIM slots are important because it allows the device to automatically switch between SIM cards based on service availability, service quality, data usage, and signal strength. Um, and so the only other port you can really access uh, due to the protective case is this one right here, which is for your PoE cord. Um, and this is a pretty hard process to plug it in since it has to be airtight and sealed. So 
I'll show you what that looks like in a second. Okay, so I will be, I need both hands to do this. That is why it is now facing me. But so what you do is, this is an ethernet cord obviously, but it'll work. This is the part that we are plugging into the actual device. Then that means we want to take the ceiling cap. So the top part, put it on first. That's gonna go down furthest. Um, next, what we'd want to do is we'd want to take the clip part and put that on, push that down. And then finally, we'll put the body with the smaller side facing away from the cord because that's the side that we're going to have to screw in to the device, right? So now, um, the, the clip's in there, but you can see it all. That's how it works. So... Now we're at the, the last step, which is how you truly seal the, the cord in. Um, so, well, you're, so you take this piece here, the ceiling cap, pull the pin in the top. This just pulls apart in the middle. You can see it's like a Lego, Lego brick. You put this around the cord, right between the body and the clip right here. Uh, make sure it's facing so that the, the clip will still be able to slide around it. But now that that's on there, push that in to the actual body. The clip should slide on top. You can see that there. The grooves are supposed to match up, and when you screw in, it'll tighten all that up. So, just screwing it in now, but you can also do this just straight into the device. So after all that, you screw it back in and this is what you're left with. And it is tight, sealed, and secure. Um, now let's jump back into some of the hardware in this device. So the, the most important hardware in this device is on the inside and that is the antennas. Um, because these antennas support bands N257, N258, N260, and N261. And this device has a lot of antennas. It has two by two MIMO uh, millimeter wave, four by four MIMO sub six, and four by four MIMO LTE antennas. Due to the amount of antennas used by this device and the fact that it is an outdoor CPE, Insego recommends that the FW2010 be installed by professional technicians to assure optimal antenna orientation and performance. Whoever in this installs this device will likely want to use the Insego mobile app to find the optimal mounting location and get easy access to the device settings. Um, so there's a little bit more in the box. Ah, we'll look at the second box. So in here we have this is part of the power adapter that you use. So the cord that we just plugged into here or that you would plug into there, that would go into the POE cord down here and through the router. And on this side, you can see that those can connect for power. Now that we have unboxed the device and talked about the features, specifications, and hardware, let's talk about the security that this device has to offer so you never have to fear for your network's integrity. This device has a security hardened web interface, content filtering, hacker prevention, incorrect password lockout, secure firewall, IP pass-through, VPN pass-through, manual DNS, session timeout, and many more features designed to keep your network secure. The FW2010E Outdoor CPE is a great device due to its fast speeds for Wi-Fi and 5G, its extended network coverage, and its advanced networking and security. All devices that I have unboxed in the WaveMaker series have been really fast and secure devices, but the FW2010E is the perfect outdoor CPE for residences, apartment buildings, dorms, 
commercial businesses, or large business offices. Thank you for watching this Connect Us sponsored unboxing video, and please feel free to reach us at our website, connectuscorp.com, so we can help you and your business do mobility better.